Musk is a man who is constantly pushing the boundaries of man when it comes to space exploration. And if recent developments are anything to go by, it seems like we are getting ever closer to Starship finally taking man to Mars. SpaceX's Starship Super Heavy launch system now stands on the brink of an unprecedented breakthrough. The company is moving forward quickly, concentrating on development at the Starbase facility located at the beautiful Boca Chica Beach in Texas, close to the Mexican border. The Starship boasts a powerhouse ensemble of six Raptor engines. Three of them are designed for conquering Earth's atmosphere, while the other three are specially engineered to thrive in the vacuum of space, featuring larger nozzles. But that's not all. The super-heavy rocket propelling Starship into orbit takes the glory with its staggering 33 Raptors. And if that isn't enough, SpaceX's visionary leader tantalizes us with the prospect of a future Starship iteration, sporting a formidable nine Raptors, unlocking unprecedented mass-to-orbit capabilities. These Raptors don't just run on any ordinary fuel, they're powered by Methalox, a unique blend of cryogenic liquid methane and liquid oxygen that sets new standards in the rocket industry. The latest Raptor engine iteration, V2, is leaner, meaner, and more potent, with a refined design that minimizes visible plumbing and wiring. As we eagerly await the second orbital flight attempt, Starship prototypes equipped with these V2 engines are undergoing rigorous pre-flight testing. V2 shines as the lighter sibling, with a mass of 1,600 kilograms compared to V1's 2,000 kilograms. But don't let the numbers fool you. V2 packs a punch, generating a whopping 230 tons of thrust, compared to V1's 185 tons. What's more, V2 comes with a significantly reduced production cost, around half of its predecessor. SpaceX's ambition knows no bounds. They're relentlessly driving the cost per ton of thrust for each Raptor engine under $1,000. And it's not just talk. The third iteration, Raptor V3, recently shattered thrust records, boasting a jaw-dropping 350 bars chamber pressure and 269 tons of thrust. When you sum up all 33 Raptors on the Super Heavy Booster, you get a mind-boggling 8,877 tons of thrust, or a staggering 19.5 million pounds. Yes, you heard that right. Starship is destined to become the mightiest rocket in human history. Musk, the man with a penchant for pushing boundaries, recently shared his plans to boost Raptor thrust by around 20%, surging to an astonishing 9,000 tons of force at sea level. This upgrade translates into a payload capacity of over 200 tons to a useful orbit, all while maintaining full and rapid reusability. In expendable mode, Starship can ferry payloads weighing between 250 to 300 tons to orbit, thanks to these enhanced thrusters and increased specific impulse from the Raptor V2 engines. The future is looking brighter than ever. As Musk's grand vision takes shape, imagine 50 rockets launching every three days on average, collectively delivering an annual payload capacity surpassing a megaton of cargo to orbit. This monumental endeavor paves the way for the construction of a self-sustaining city on Mars, a testament to SpaceX's audacious aspirations. Musk puts it simply, 50 rockets flying every three days on average enables over a megaton of payload to orbit per year, enough to build a self-sustaining city on Mars. SpaceX's commitment to Starship's development is unwavering, with an estimated investment of approximately $3 billion in the current year alone. This resounding financial support underscores Starship's pivotal role in SpaceX's grand designs, which include deploying next-generation Starlink satellites, and aiding NASA's lunar exploration ambitions set to materialize by 2025. The imminent second orbital flight attempt marks a pivotal milestone for SpaceX. The company's confidence is soaring, with Musk now expressing a 50% probability of success for this mission, a remarkable improvement from the initial endeavor. This newfound optimism is rooted in a thorough and exhaustive overhaul of the spacecraft. Musk revealed that well over a thousand changes have been meticulously implemented since the last flight test, dramatically enhancing the chances of achieving orbit. The trajectory of SpaceX's Starship development journey is poised to revolutionize the future of space travel and exploration. Just a week ago, SpaceX triumphantly conducted another static fire engine test on its super-heavy prototype, Booster 9. As we anticipate the second flight test of this colossal rocket, Musk hints that it could happen soon. However, 
Recent reports have surfaced, suggesting that wildlife officials were left in awe of the damage caused by Starship during its inaugural test flight. While Starship is nearly ready to take flight again, securing the green light for the second launch might take some time. There are, of course, well-placed fears that a launch like this could severely impact the surrounding areas. And with championing a transition to green energy with Tesla, he needs to be careful with how his SpaceX ventures impact the environment. As SpaceX gears up for the next Starship launch, though, all 33 Raptor engines on Booster 9 roared to life in a dazzling static fire engine test. The test, conducted at SpaceX's Starbase test site in Boca Chica, Texas, lasted a full six seconds allowing engineers to conduct crucial pre-launch checks and preparations. In a celebratory tweet, SpaceX proudly announced, Super Heavy Booster 9 static fire successfully lit all 33 Raptor engines, with all but two running for the full duration. Congratulations to the SpaceX team on this exciting milestone. The company also shared breathtaking footage of the test fire. This marks the second successful static fire engine test for Booster 9. In the previous test on August 6th, the Raptor engines fired for a shorter three seconds, with four of them shutting down during the test. This latest static fire test is one of the last technical hurdles that SpaceX needs to clear before embarking on the second test flight of Starship. However, regulatory obstacles loom on the horizon, as SpaceX must secure Federal Aviation Administration FAA, approval for the upcoming mission. The FAA finds itself entangled in a lawsuit filed by an environmental group following Starship's first launch, which left a sizable crater in the launch pad and scattered debris far and wide. SpaceX has submitted a comprehensive report to the FAA detailing the numerous modifications made since the explosive conclusion of Starship's inaugural flight. Now, the FAA must weigh in on whether SpaceX has indeed met the necessary requirements before granting approval, a process that could take several weeks. SpaceX has implemented multiple alterations to Starship design, including the addition of a new vented interstage and a heat shield atop Booster 9, enhancing the upper stage's performance during separation. Musk's optimism shines through as he notes, I think the probability this next flight working getting to orbit is much higher than the last one. Maybe it's like 60%. When the second test flight does eventually occur, SpaceX's cutting-edge water deluge system and fire trench will face a rigorous test as Starship slowly ascends, marking yet another bold step towards humanity's interstellar dreams. That's all for this video, folks. If you want to see more content like this, head on over to my channel. As always, thanks for watching.